listen to this. Last night, I was an idiot. And I took Penny out on a leash just to take the old girl for a spin. And I stepped on a freaking bee and got stung. The last time I got stung, was, uh, like no, two months ago, I swear I had an anaphylactic experience. It was terrifying. So I was so scared last night. My entire body was itching so bad, but that's as bad as it got. If you ever catch me outside without shoes on, I want you to kick my ass because I can't do this anymore. I'm gonna do a sweatshirt roundup on my lactanoid soon because sweatshirts, candles, flowers, leggings, tile. What else is my love language? Energy drinks. That's my love language. Um, this one is from Ford and Wyatt. I love this one. I'll flip the camera around, but it says mother and it's um, from their fall line and it's such a neutral tie dye. I love it. Villa just shared a photo of a little pink cottage and it has the same details that my garage has and i have been toying with the idea of painting my trim from brown to white and so and i just was like I, my house is a pinkish color and so i was just i didn't know what the white with the pink would look like anyways i'm going to share a picture of what this house looks like and then i'll share a picture of my garages and let me know what you think I love the color of our house. Would I want it to be a little bit more pink? Yes, but I think if it had white trim, it would make the color of the house look pinker. Anyways, here we go. Okay, so here's our garages. What do you guys think? Do you think it would look okay if we painted the details white and kept the house that light pink color? It's almost like a goal with the exterior of our house someday is to do white trim on all the windows and everywhere that's brown paint it white and leave the house color as it is it's i love it um and then copper gutters andy and i are going to scratch off our first date on the adventure challenge book um we i shared last week that we don't do a lot of one-on-one -on -one dates hardly any so this is going to definitely be a challenge for us um even though we don't go on a lot of dates we are sentimental people so i think being able to look back on 50 dates with a photo is going to be something that we'll cherish forever um i'll i'll show i'll share the picture from our date actually I don't even know which one we're picking out. I'll, I'll scratch it off here in a little bit. I'll make sure to share that too. But if you want to try the adventure challenge, click the sticker on the screen because this will save you 20%. And this is also such a great gift idea. I had a lot of you guys say that you got this for um, a wedding gift, for anniversaries, bridal showers, Christmas gifts. Anyways, you can click the sticker and then let's go see what mine and Andy's date is gonna be. Okay, set up a TV, laptop, or portable DVD player in the backyard, spread out a blanket, pop the corn, get candy, and watch a movie.
busy thinking about I told her to tell me everything. Uh, she hasn't written me back yet. But could you imagine, like, just randomly scrolling through reels and being like, what in the... I remember Christmas in that living room. So cool.